It's June of 2015, and my husband and I are sitting in a police car in a parking lot when the officer says, I have some sad news to share. Your son Charles has been found dead this morning. Cause of death, suicide. I wanted to take the edges of yesterday and bring it back and change that outcome. I didn't understand why suicide, and it would be a long time before I would. My son suffered from depression and addiction, but that doesn't mean we were prepared. Suicide was not on my radar because no one was talking about it, and someone needed to, because talking about suicide does not give somebody the idea. These are uncomfortable topics. I was uncomfortable going public about them. I was grief stricken. I was terrified. But those voices inside trying to hold me back were drowned out by the ones pushing me forward to share. So I write a newspaper article about my family's tragedy that went viral. And I started a blog called Emotionally Naked to find healing through writing and shine a spotlight on the taboo topics of mental illness, addiction, and suicide. That blog reached a quarter million people in the first 18 months because <laughs> because other people were reading their story in mine. And it was not long after that blog was launched that I wrote a particularly raw article about getting the news of my son's death and how we reacted to it. And I got a message from a girl named Lauren that said, two days ago, I thought about taking my life. Reading a post from a mother who felt such devastating pain has changed my perspective on life. And she reached out to her own parents and asked for help. And that was a turning point for me. Because that's when I realized a blog really can save lives. And I started to think from my perspective as a digital marketing expert. People Google how to install a faucet. I bet they Google how to die, too. So merging my passion to prevent suicide with my marketing expertise, I then wrote my first how-to article with a title so powerful and so triggering, I can't repeat it here. Now, I wrote this article for the express purpose of showing up at the top of Google when people would plug in the keywords looking for this particular way to kill themselves. So I wanted to compete with all those other websites that were offering step-by-step -step instructions on this way to die. So the technical term of what I was doing was called search engine optimization and content marketing. Now, my article didn't offer instructions, but instead offered hope and resources. But for it to rank or show up on Google when those words were typed in, I had to share this cringeworthy title in social media. And then I had to mobilize my network to do the same. So if you go to Google today and you were to type in this how-to phrase related to this way of killing yourself, this article would show up number six or seventh in the world. Tens. Tens of thousands of people have clicked that link. Hundreds have left comments, some of which say, 
this article saved my life last night. And statistical evidence shows that people have reached out to the resources listed there. I didn't do this alone. It was the collective sharing of a community that came together in our pain that helped these posts save lives. And while I started my blog for the purpose of self-healing and educating, an unexpected thing happened when I decided to be emotionally naked in public. My community gave back to me by helping me find my voice and by helping me heal. Thank you.